So what exactly is a domain expansion and how did they evolve over the course of time? Let's talk about it. To begin, a domain expansion is an advanced barrier technique and it is the absolute pinnacle of Jujutsu Sorcery. And that is because it is the act of taking your innate domain and manifesting it into reality. Now, what's your innate domain, you might be saying? Well, it's kind of like your soul, but it's not literally your soul. It's basically just an embodiment of who you are. And everyone has an innate domain, whether you're a sorcerer or just a normal human or even a cursed spirit. Everyone's born with one of these. So the act of taking that intangible thing and manifesting it into reality and enclosing it within a barrier is your domain expansion. When domain expansions first originated, way back when in the history of Jujutsu Kaisen, they were far more simple than the ones we see today. And that is because in a modern day domain expansion, you have a sure hit effect that is lethal. You know, take Gojo's for example, the infinite void will literally melt your brain. So to step into that domain is to step into death, essentially. Well, way back when, they weren't imbuing sure hit effects of their curse techniques into the barrier. Instead, they were just making simple rules. For example, the rules of a sumo match. So instead of, you know, instantly killing your opponent if you trap them in their domain, you're just having a friendly spar. So because of that, these were far simpler and far less taxing to create. And because of that, domain expansions were far more common back in the day. A lot of people could perform them. But as time went on and they evolved to become more and more deadly, they became harder and harder to do. However, even in the modern era of JJK, there are still domain expansions that are non-lethal, and they're honestly some of the coolest in the entire story. We're not going to get into the details because this is a spoiler-free video, but instead of inflicting a sure hit lethal effect in the barrier of their domain, they instead inflict certain rules that you must follow within the domain, or inflict certain information into your opponent's brain. But now let's talk about the most common domain in the modern era, ones with the lethal sure hit effect. First of all, what does that even mean, right? Well, if you recall, the act of creating your domain is bringing your innate domain into reality and enclosing it in a barrier. In that barrier, you are imbuing your curse technique. And all that means is that your curse technique is going to guaranteed hit anyone that's in your domain. In addition to that, you also just get an overall stat buff by being in your own domain. So you essentially have your opponent in the palm of your hand. And the evolution of domains actually goes one step further beyond this. Thus far, every domain we've talked about has been a sphere or a half sphere, but an enclosed space. Sukuna showed us that you can have an open domain, meaning it is not an enclosed space and instead affects a way wider range. Everything else is still the same. It's got the lethal sure hit effect and it's got the stat boost. It can just be a way wider range. An open barrier in this way is the true pinnacle of Jujutsu Sorcery. The narrator described it as a divine technique, like a painter painting on thin air, not needing a canvas. And that's basically it, the history of domains. They started as a manifestation of your innate domain into reality imbued with simple rules. Then they evolved to have lethal sure hit effects, and then they evolved to open their barriers completely. Last but not least, I want to give a special shout out to Isaiah for sponsoring this video. And in addition to knowing the information about the domains, Isaiah was curious about the pros and cons of actually using a sure hit. And the pros of using a sure hit are, you know, pretty self-explanatory. You're getting a sure hit effect, whether that's lethal or otherwise, right? And the con is that it's much harder to perform a domain with a sure hit effect especially if it's lethal, which is why they are so rare in the modern era, right? But you can do an incomplete domain, like we see with Megami in Season 1. He performs his domain, but he can't enclose it in a barrier. So the trade-off for this is that he does not have a sure hit effect at all, but he still gets obviously some benefits from it, like the stat boost and what he's able to do with the shadows. So it's a give and take, right? If you can perform the sure hit, that's obviously the way to go because it's much more powerful, but there are at least other avenues if you're a skilled enough sorcerer to do an incomplete domain.